So I know y'all are dying to know. Did he like Star Wars? Did he like Episode 6? What did he think when he finished that movie? All those questions will be answered. Stick around to the end of the video. You're gonna love to hear what I gotta say. Let me just tell you this. I loved it. <laughs> I loved Episode 6. Oh my gosh. Where do I begin? My boy finally got his green lightsaber. Now I know, I know y'all saw my reaction to that. When he just... Oh man, I lost it. I love when Luke finally got his lightsaber. I loved how confident Luke was. I loved how Han's story finally came full circle. Stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear my thoughts on Vader and Luke's confrontation at the end. I loved how the Emperor was just hinted at in the first movie. And then you saw his hologram in the second movie. And then you finally see the Emperor. This this powerful, evil, just manipulative, wicked being finally showing who he really is and he was just a dominant force like he was he was putting Luke down and I was a little concerned that you know he might actually do some serious damage or possibly kill Luke what else can I say like I love the movie it was a great fantastic movie the writing was perfect the music was out of this world the, every second that they were playing music I was just music was phenomenal. The story, the writing was incredible. The character development was outstanding. And one of my subscribers, Paul1971, I'm shouting you out here, man, because you know a lot about this stuff. Even he had said that the script was just a product of his time, but he said the animation was also a product of its time. I gotta disagree with you there, Paul. The original trilogy script was so well written. When did Star Wars come out? Was it like in the 80s or like the late 70s? This came out way before I was born. George Lucas's writing is just incredible. It's outstanding for the original trilogy. I can't even sit here and say that there was a problem I had with any part of the story. I'm sure like a lot of the heavy Star Wars fans know much more than I do so they can nitpick and find little things here and there that I wouldn't notice. For a newcomer to the franchise, I mean, I love it. You know me. I gotta speak on my boy Luke. I can't even say there was a scene that made me start to love Luke Skywalker. I think it's just Luke has the most humble of backgrounds. I mean, think about it. His mom was gone. He didn't even know who his father was. And it was just him, his uncle, and his aunt. Luke thought there was nobody out there for him besides those two people. As far as he, and then even Obi-Wan told him his father was dead. So as far as Luke knew, he had no family. And then for Luke to come from having nothing to then becoming the greatest Jedi at the end of the trilogy, I mean, that speaks volumes, man. Luke is such a well, well-written character. And I did say I'm gonna do a character comparison for him, so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. I'm so glad I made this decision. What was it, back in, July I decided to watch Star Wars, I announced it in my Stranger Things video. And I never thought that I would fall this much in love with the franchise. I have seen so many franchises from Transformers to Dragon Ball to Batman, Superman, all of Marvel. I've never quickly loved a franchise as much as I've loved Star Wars. I know some people do want to see like longer reaction videos to the Star Wars films. Now that I have a hundred subscribers, I believe I can live stream now. I decide to live stream when I watch episode one. You guys gotta let me know if you guys are gonna like that, if you guys are gonna wanna see it, if you're gonna jump in and join the live stream, but thinking about doing that is live streaming episode one, that way you guys can watch it with me. Now, I did wanna address something with Vader and Luke. When I seen that moment between Luke and Vader at the very end, man, it was it was sad. You know, you know why I was sad? Because Vader had done so wrong for so long, and at the end of the day, Luke never stopped believing in his father. Luke continued to try and save his father and he did at the very, very end of the film. Seeing a son do the same thing for his father that I would, it just hits you so differently, man. A lot of you know about this. The connection you have with your father is just incredibly strong. Seeing that scene, it really, that really hit me, man. That really, really hit me. So that scene was just, that touched me right here. Vader was saying, tell your sister you were right about me. You were right to not give up hope in me. You were right to always believe that I can come back to the light because I'm truly not a bad person. I might have done bad things in the past, but I'm not a bad person. Thank you for those of you who stuck around to the end. Make sure you guys leave a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please share the video because we're on that road to a thousand subscribers. And really and truly, I want my Star Wars content to reach as many fans as possible. Star Wars has really opened my eyes to a lot of things, a lot of things that Star Wars connects to in the real world. And one of those things 
his family. Think about this. Luke, Leia, and Vader. They're all connected. They're, they're one family, right? What is it that they struggle with through the entire three films? Getting to know one another. I can't tell y'all enough how much I love them. Now, that being said, is it my favorite Star Wars film? Gotta say yes. <laughs> episode six is my favorite, man. To me, episode six is the best Star Wars film right now. For me, it's episode six, episode four, and then episode five. I'm not saying episode five is bad. Six and four just, they just take it away, man. So guys, thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you for all the Star Wars fans who leave their comments down below. And listen guys, before y'all go, if y'all have any suggestions, any comments, any concern, anything y'all want me to react to, listen to, anything like that, send it to my Instagram at greatexpectation787. I will respond to all of you over there, and that is the best way to contact me. All right, guys, so that's all I got. I loved it.